Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at the CQS48 Bulldog Pump Shotgun in Halo Infinite Multiplayer. This shotgun can eliminate enemy with two shots, either headshot or body shot. So I actually tested it out here uh, in the shooting range to see actually how many shots I need in a close range in order to eliminate enemies. So I'm trying to aim to add shots and you can see two shots. Again, add shots, two shots. All right, uh, same goes to budget shots. So as you can see, the range is uh, not bad. I mean, of course, if you go on a mid range, forget about it. Yeah, but this is a clone range weapon, of course. So this is, you see, body two shots and you get an uh, enemy down. Now I just took a screenshot so you can actually see the pellets. There are, I think like 11 of them, you see the bullets, the bullets flying out. All right, that's why you need to be close, right? You can actually, if you're a bit too far away, you can actually just Put a few bullets instead of all of them all right so this is just a screenshot that i took the bullets coming out of the shotgun now in bazaar it's located in the middle of the map actually in the area where it can be you know can surprise enemies so m i think all of the weapons are located kind of strategically in a tactical position where you can surprise enemies depends on the weapon of course so if it's a long range you'd be located probably in a elevated position it's a shotgun as you can see it's located underneath so you can actually surprise enemies when obtaining the weapon of course you can grab ammo again but just going to the same place if you drop the weapon like any other weapon it will drop on the floor and others can pick it up now it took me time to get used to it because you see i'm walking back because i'm used to control mid-range when using uh you know uh assault rifles and other weapons so no you need to close on your enemies you need to come close because then you close the angle on your enemies and there's higher chance for you to put those shots in the body or the head and eliminate the enemy Again, takes some time could it used to. Uh, for me, even, you know, I'm, because I'm not used to it, it took me like quite a lot of time to get used to it. But eventually, once you're practiced with this uh, weapon, you're just going to either slide uh, where enemies are located and shoot, or shoot and melee, or just hide so you know when they are coming through so you can actually eliminate them very fast. There are many ways to actually take benefit of this weapon, uh, so it's very powerful. Now keep in mind the radar is your best friend and if you have the threat detector use it it's your best friend because then you see on the mini map where the enemies are located as you can see at the bottom left side now you can see enemies in red when they are detected even through walls so this is the best thing for you of course you can reposition even overshield the power item uh, is very very good because you're going to go close range and uh, you're probably going to risk yourself in certain situations so grab it uh, and use it wisely this item overshield obtained shields boosted <coughs> cover me <coughs> now i really like shooting one shot at the body or the head of the enemies and then melee them it's very kind of nice combo and very satisfying especially if you are sliding towards the enemy which i don't do a lot again i need to practice to get used to it <coughs> <coughs> and don't forget flank your best tactic is just to flank enemies. Nearing victory. So again, when enemies are low, you can just melee them. So again, if you're with a shotgun and you're already very close, instead of trying to aim with the shotgun, just melee. Now in the live fire uh, level map, uh, the shotgun is located in the middle lane uh, at the bottom area. And this is the place where you should be many times and just attack and melee if you're very close. Your ammo stores are depleting. And this is a big mistake as I told you, you need to close in, not stay far. Again, I'm new, I need to get used to the shotgun. Here I'm grabbing the shield. This is a great item for me. Same goes to the sensor, so I'm using it and getting in. Spike grenades acquired. Now, if you see that enemies get hit uh, using the grenade, just go out and try to finish them with just one shot with your shotgun. Stay mobile. <laughs> 
And because you can kill enemy with two shots, make sure you aim properly and pull those shots in. Now here you can actually see me using the threat detector positioning it so I can actually see where enemies are located. Picked up the ground shot. Enemies on me! Our reserves depleting. Easy when you know where they are. Power items en route. Now the grappling hook is a great item to actually close distance. Actually many of the items that we have are actually great for the shotgun. Frack grenades acquired. Five minutes remaining. Yeah, so this is it. This is the CQS48 Bulldog. A great weapon synergy as well with the power items as well. I hope you enjoyed this one, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I see you on the next video. Bye everyone, cheers. Reloading.